friends. Welcome back to Graceful Living and welcome to all of you that are new here today. In today's video, I am just going to kind of sit back and take a moment to share with you a few tips that I use in our house to make it a warm and comfortable home. Now, I know that each one of us desire a beautiful home to walk into and to welcome our guests into. So I just wanted to give you a few of the tips that I use to do that in our little space. Now for tip number one, it is something that really goes without saying, and that is to keep a nice, tidy home. Now what I do to stay on top of that is to make sure that I keep on my daily and weekly tasks. Now each day I have things that I do morning and night to make sure that my house is set up for anybody stopping by. This way it really frees me from ever being worried about somebody stopping in unexpected or just having the freedom to know that all of my work is behind me for the day. I truly enjoy a nice and neat home and I know that my family does as well. Ronnie is really good about coming home and just being kind and thoughtful about what I have done through the day around the house. And of course, that always makes it extra nice as well to get those chores done. Now, I don't think that routines really need to take a lot of your time. They're just something that is going to help you stay on top of all those big tasks. And honestly, I don't have to do a tremendous amount of deep cleaning because I take the time each day and each week to kind of conquer those little things that could become much bigger. Like my mama always used to say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Staying on top of jobs like dusting our doors down and dusting our blinds each week just makes for a lighter job later on. Now tip number two is another really easy tip and that is just bringing in a nice and inviting scent into your home. Now what I do each week to achieve that is I do purchase two packs of wax melts at either Walmart or Target and that's just a little over four dollars a week to ensure that we always have some type of wax melts here in the home to make our home smell wonderful. And I really gravitate towards a homey scent, but this could go for any scent that you truly enjoy, be it floral, fruity, or even a masculine scent. I know I've picked up a lot of masculine scents at Walmart that are absolutely just divine. They smell so good. And so I just kind of mix them in with our other scents. And what I try to do is each morning as I am going through my normal daily routine, I will empty out our wax warmer, clean it off, and then add in my new scent for the day. And it is kind of my splurge for the week because I want to make sure that our noses never get acclimated to just one scent, but I always want our home to smell really good good. And so I think it's just one more way that you can create a really warm and inviting atmosphere to your home. Okay, on to tip number three. Tip number three is getting rid of clutter. Now, I am sure if you are like me, you have some clutter that needs to be getting rid of. One of the things that really has helped me over the years to keep my clutter down is to remember this idea. If I would not take the time to wrap it up, pack it, and move it to a new house, then I don't need it. Because if I'm not going to invest that time, why do I need that item? So that has really helped me rid my spaces of extra clutter. Now, another idea that has really helped me to keep everything in its place is to make easy zones and drop zones. Now, keeping things organized and clutter-free is really at the top of my list, but that does not mean it's always been at the top of my family members list. So anytime I am trying to implement something into the home, I try to make it easy. I want to make sure that when someone is taking something out of a space, 
and they need to bring it back, it's easy to put back. It's not something that is really hard where they've got to take a lot of things out, shift things around to put it back. I want them to be able to open a drawer, drop it in and call it good. That way I know it will most likely get back to its right place. So when it comes to clutter, just remembering, is it really something that I want to invest my time in? If not, I don't need it. And making those drop zones super easy for everyone to make sure that things get right back in their appropriate place is going to make it so much easier to keep your home clutter free. Okay, now on to tip number four. Now tip number four is one of my favorite things to do around our home to bring in that warm and inviting atmosphere, even if it's just for me. Some days when I am just home all alone, I will go around the house and just turn on a few lamps. There is just something about the warm glow from a lamp, having all of the overhead lights off and just the soft glow around the house is just really comforting and very warm. So that is what I will tend to do. I know if we are going to have company over, that is at the top of my list to make sure that lamps all throughout the house are on. And of course, adding in some candlelight is always a winner as well. There is something about the warm glow and the flicker of a flame that is just very inviting and brings out a very warm atmosphere. So those two things are definitely at the top of my list when it comes to trying to create a warm and inviting atmosphere here in our home. Okay, on to tip number five color and texture can really be your best friend when it comes to each and every season of the year. This year in my eye, when winter came around, I could not help but think of the softness that comes with it. So I really wanted to incorporate a couple blankets and throws onto our hutch this year just to bring that texture in. Plus, I really feel like winter has that warm but yet moody kind of feeling to it. So I chose to take some color out for the winter and just bring in some warm creamy whites and some taupe colors. And next season, I will go ahead and bring some vibrant greens back in. Now for the winter time in the kitchen, I really got to thinking about walking in a beautiful open winter pasture with all of the trees nice and bare. So I brought in a lot of wood elements into our space and then added just small touches of silver. And I thought the silver could take the place of frosty snowflakes and just bring in that little bit of glisten against those dark and moody tones of wood. I really feel like there are so many beautiful examples of texture and color out in nature that we could use in our homes each and every season. So why not? Why not bring that kind of mood and atmosphere into your home to make it beautiful, welcoming, and very warm? Now on to our very last tip. And this is something that if you've been around my channel for very long, you have probably heard this over and over again, but I feel so passionate about it. When you are creating your own space, remember that it is your own. So you want to bring things into your home that you absolutely love to have around you. If it brings you comfort, then that is exactly what you want. If it brings your family comfort, then bring it in. It doesn't matter what trend is hot right now or what is streaming on Pinterest or Instagram. It matters how you feel in your own space. So if you love something like in my instance, I truly love book pages. So yes, I'm going to have book pages in my home. I'm going to decorate with books. They are going to be open. They are going to be closed. I'm going to decorate with our Bibles. I truly 
truly love using our Bibles all throughout the year around our home. I think it speaks volumes of who we are and what we truly love in our home. And that is having the Lord at the center of it all. And so having those out is very, very important to me. So they are going to be out every single day all year long. So find something that really speaks volumes about you and your family and have it out. It doesn't matter if it's not out in anyone else's home. This is your home and let it speak of you. Make it comfortable and make it suitable for you. All right, friends, I hope that these ideas have really encouraged you, motivated you, and given you some inspiration for your own space. I want you to be happy with your home, and I'm hoping that these ideas will help you achieve the look and feel that you want for your home. Because beyond making your home look beautiful and feel welcoming, it also changes the outlook that we have on life. It gives gives us a more grateful heart. We think about all the abundant blessings that he has given us. And I think that is the key. If we can make our surroundings calm us down and really reflect on all of his goodness and mercy, then it is definitely a win-win. So again, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know down below in the comments. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would absolutely love for you to join our little Graceful Living family. All you need to do is hit that little red subscribe button down below. But for now, I want to wish you a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.